Nut bag, nut sack, one, two, three. <laughs> right. Found a place. Found a place to call home. I've dipped into this woodland. First things first is always, especially when it's it's forecast some gale force winds, is always check for any any widow makers, any trees that might look a little bit precarious or branches especially. And I've had a look around and there's a few that could maybe give me a dead leg but they all seem pretty solid. I can I could take it anyway to be honest. Um, it's taken me quite a while to find a little bit of flat grass enough to put the hex peak up. So before the heavens start opening I'm gonna whack the tent up and then get a little area to get a fire going hopefully. Zed it. I'll do one of these with do-rag. Tent in the woods, there's always something quite nice about having a tent in the woods. <laughs> right, I am out here. This is a practice, like I am working out the legs and also working out gear, which I've been doing for quite a while now. Even when I've not been filming, I've been doing little one or two day hikes and just dialing in my kit, so the, as they say. And today was just or today and tomorrow is dialing in my wet weather gear and with the tent as well and one of the reasons I got this tent was because you can set the outside up first and then get in and set the inner up and get all your gear sorted out and then when you're packing away you can drop the inner pack all your stuff away and that can be the last thing into a dry bag and then just attach to the outside of your bag so you can keep going because if you're doing a hike for a multi-day hike and you get your tent wet, your sleeping bag, your clothes and everything wet and it doesn't, you you get no sunshine or anything you can be, or you can't start a fire, you could be up shit creek <laughs> so that's what we're testing anyway, I'll tell you what is testing this tent is testing my patience put it up countless times and it just still just takes so much tweaking I'm still not 100% sure it's going to come with me on the coast to coast like it might be a last minute gear change into something else and failing that I might just take the good old banshee or sleep rough like a tramp anyway waffling on like a doofus There you go. And it starts getting sort of that orangey colour. That's the that's the oily gear. That's what you want. Get a half decent pile. Yeah, I mean, teaching you how to suck eggs here. Uh, the silky saws are pretty good for shooting a spark. I like to grind off a few bits first just to give it a little bit of a turbo boost and then it's quite easy to to get it going piece of piss Danielson just cooking up a a brace of quail Me tea. Insert joke about spit roasting a couple of birds in the woods here. Get in there.
just frying up some asparagus. Uh, uh, I always carry um, coconut oil for multiple different reasons, and I just thought might as well fry some asparagus up in it in my plate. Why not? Best have my will. Best have a can of juice. <laughs> There she is, look. Juice box. It's quite a popular beverage. I've got it in the big can. Because that's how we are. Swinging our nuts. 5.9%. It's a juicy little number. Tropical fruits, orange, sort of papaya, mango, orange. Oh, I've said orange. <laughs> Get knife out just to make sure my asparagus isn't burning. Because uh, the thing about titanium is it doesn't have conduct heat anyway. Also, my little birds, my little. <laughs> The little birds are coming along beautifully. Uh, right. Oh, I think we've reviewed these before, but I can't remember, so here we go again. Here I go again on my own. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, that is delicious. On the nose, delicious. Yeah, I'll check my t-shirt out. There you go. Northern. Northern Monk, get at me. Right, Darren Brown. <laughs> it's too windy to Darren Brown it. So, just get right into it. Oh, it just smells like f smoke from the fire. Right, amazing. Opal fruits, tutti frutti, um, all that sort of clobber. Fruit pastel lo lolly. Northern Monk, what more do I have to do, mate? Mates. Look at me, advertising you. Sure, this isn't Northern Monk, but don't think I don't have a Northern Monk in the tent. Not literally, but I've got a heavy hitter in there. Eight point. 5% of pure what the fuck. Look at that man. Look at they look wonderful. Tea's nearly ready. Yeah, looking forward to a few slurps, man. Ugh. I had bigger plans this weekend to go to the lakes and that, but it's too windy, too rainy. So we're sticking, we're, we're sticking with, sticking in Yorkshire. That's delicious that. That's one of my favourite beers. If you get a chance to get, if you get a chance to get revved up on that lads and lasses, don't hesitate. Unless you're an alky, then do hesitate. Maybe smoke a zoot, or just have some lilt. That's what it tastes like, lilt. That's delicious. We've not had a review, I've not reviewed a beer for quite some time. Oh. So should we give it a score, just to give me some more work to do? It's so citrusy and tropical. And the hops just go so well with it. It's a strong one. I've nearly drunk it, look, I've come out of the traps like a whippet. <laughs> that, there you go. Beautiful. I'm gonna give that I love it actually. I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. 
Right, boom. 9.2 out of 10. The rains have hit there, sir. I mean, it's time to get in the tent. Tales from the tent. Here we are. Tales from the tent. Tales from the TP. I reckon all of the breweries are missing out, not having um, John Peelers like. I have to keep looking there because it's. Right, here we go. I'm looking forward to this one. You can't see it because auto. Bullshit. It's a really cool cam. You can't see because that's too bright. Let's just. There you go, little skulls and stuff. It's a collaboration ale. Alright mate. Chill out. Yeah, it's a collaboration ale between Cloudwater and Beavertown. Two heavy hitters in the ale game. On paper it sounds delunctful. Let's see what her vitals are. Just so we know whether to strap a nappy on. Of a goosey guy. What? That's instantly delicious on the on the on the pink. Oh. David Badil. Oh. Ah, it's very floral on the on the Darren on the Darren Brown. Oh. Headbutting a bouquet of flowers. That's a sturdy, very sturdy nine and a half. If you want one of these, six pound fifteen. I paid for this. Yes, I, I'm an idiot. Worth it though, hopefully. Eight point four percent. So it's kneecapping you. Anyway, it's a collaboration ale. Come on. There's a few breweries involved. <laughs> the initial hit. Not very, not very strong. I've gone initial on that before I did a David Beckham there. David Beckham on it. Spill it all over my legs. That's one. A new, a new element to the beer reviews that I do now. Marinate my thighs in it. Whoa. I mean, language. 8.4% of pure kick your dick off. Prepper McPrepper Doomsday Zombie Apocalypse McPrepper asks, how do you manage to say stay so devilishly handsome um, even though you spend a lot of your time outdoors I would expect you to look like a weather beaten old hag well bushcraft mc bushcraft mc zombie apocalypse face uh, there's a you, you can forage for certain herbs that you can rub onto your, onto your grill that will keep you looking relatively young uh, what other what, wood uh, bark? Sometimes just bark. Just rub bark on your face. That'll sort you out. Thanks for your question. Right, next one. Right, we've got one here from Joe. Joe Robinette. Joe Robinette asks, dear Hazy, how come you're so? Good at doing press ups, and can you teach me one day? Well, Joe Robinette, um, I just do them all the time, mate. I bust out a cool thou, a thou press ups. I do a thousand of a morning, I do a thousand at night, um, and I do like a few hundred just when I'm bored at work, just to sort of just to keep a just to keep a pump on, really. Just for all the single housewives when I'm doing their gardens. Um, but yeah, that's it. You want to. Like, 
Da, 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 da. Right, yeah, that's it, mate. Just that, I just do two, two and a half thousand a day. So there. Thanks for your question, Joe. Condom face one eight two asks. In a fight, who would win between you and Joey D? Well, good question, Condom Face. Um, Joey D's probably quite rangy and leggy, so yeah, I'd probably have to give it to Joey D because you, you can't trust these spindly lads. Rangy and spindly, I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know. So we'll give that to Joey D. Thanks for your question, Condom Face. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Who's this? Tracy584, are you still single? And if so, would you like to go camping? <laughs> well, Stacey, yes, I am still single. And no, no, I wouldn't like to go camping. I get a lot of, I get a lot of um, offers to go camping, and uh, I decline them all for fear of getting murdered, skinned, and used as a Tinder pouch. Thanks for your question, though. Paul Daniel 784 do you prefer hammock camping or booting rolled up hedgehogs down hills mental that um it's not even a tough one i prefer uh, hammock camping camping booting hedgehogs is ridiculously cruel and you need to have a word with yourself mate so um and that's it put questions how can I do that Let's actually do questions at one time. Yeah, just ask a question and I'll answer it on the next video. Or ask one to Joe, because I'll be going camping with Joey Von Diddle Tits quite soon, so. We'll have a little Q&A while we do our beer review, and we'll give you a shout out as well, if your question gets asked. Um, also, what I just wanted to say as well, while I'm, while I'm on this 8.4 gear, that, I just want to say thanks to everyone for um, going over and supporting Luke's channel. I was blown away by all the response. And also, I was blown away by how funny everyone was with the, <laughs> with the fire lighting thing. Just random celebrity, random vegetable fire lighting. That was just, I was genuinely lolling when I was answering some of them. So, big up yourselves. Unless something testicle or majestical happens, uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, it's cold holding this, man. Uh, morning, glamorous grandmas. I've uh, I slept really well last night, actually. I wasn't cold at all. The only thing with this tent is, though, if you've got a mat like a... Uh, that's a good few inches thick and your pillow the the inner nest sort of rubs on your face and your feet which can be which is annoying um, which is another little tick in the no box for me but a tick in the yes box is that I've managed to square away a little bit of a yellow all my gear is packed away and I've just got the outer because it's sleeting now you can see because that was the aim of the game was to test me uh, Test what it but I wanted to wake up in the rain and test squaring my gear away because I might have to do it for several days on end. So best to practice it now than to fail on the trail. That's my new saying. Right, I've gone full Ral Moat. I know people say never go full Ral Moat, but they don't listen. I don't listen to them. There you go. So, the idea is, the tent was packed away in a first with bag and everything like that. And then I can get my waterproofs on. My Solomon walking boots, they're Gore-Tex. They're waterproof. Uh, Berghaus deluge trousers, snug pack um, poncho. I've got a bag liner on, on the bag. Good to go. I'll have a different bag when I do the coast to coast. And you can get still, you can still breathe through it. It's not as it's not restrictive, and it offers a little bit more protection down there as well. I think that's perfect for a, a long distance hiking. Uh, 
Right, Raoul Mert. Here we go. <laughs> get Ed, get Raoul Mert on it. Ah, it's a beautiful day actually. It was supposed to be um, gale force winds and rain, but it's just sort of sleet. Still tests minerals a little bit, doesn't it, I guess. Testicles, testicles. Do you know, sometimes it's tough. Sometimes it's a tough gig talking to a camera, it woods on your tod. Tough gig. <laughs> My hands are too cold for this shit. I'm gonna start doing auditions. Now that Joey D's out of the loop, we're gonna audition for uh, someone else to come with me. All they'll need to do is film. Film what I just film, and I'll get them. I'll give them the pleasure of my company and unlimited free quality ales. Yeah. We're now. I'm now looking for someone. So enter your name down below, and we'll get some sorted. Eh. Right, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Stay dangerous.